Welcome back to the Explanation Pro. Today I'll recap a drama, history film called, Even the Rain. Spoilers incoming. In the year 2000, a group of filmmakers and its crew enter the town of Cochabamba in Bolivia. Sebastian, who is the director of the film, sees hundreds of people lining up for the open casting audition. The executive producer named Costa, demands Sebastian to simply pick people from the line that he wishes to be a part of their film for them to save time. As the number of people that they can accommodate come to an end, one of the locals named Daniel is furious about the film crew's action. Daniel tells them that their advertisement says that the audition will give everyone a chance and so they should not invalidate their time and efforts of coming to the audition. The argument leads to a fight between the crew's guard and Daniel, where Sebastian and Costa see the racket and so they quickly stop them. Costa tells Sebastian to tell everyone that they should go home, but Sebastian sees Daniel's determination which is why he tells everyone that they will see all of them for the audition. As Sebastian, Costa, and Maria are on their way to a different set location, Maria films the two men. Sebastian starts to get annoyed by Costa saying that Cochabamba is a perfect place full of starving natives that they can pay cheaply, which gives them an advantage since their film has a tight budget. And so they continue to use the help of locals in setting up their props like a gigantic cross made of wood. Sebastian worries about the locals' safety and tells Costa that they should have used a crane instead, but Costa being the cheapskate that he is, insisted the locals should do it and tells them that he will buy them drinks as a payment for their help. The film crew continues the rehearsal of the cast, one of which is Anton who acts as Christopher Columbus. The storyline of the film is all about Columbus's first exploration and the Spaniards' way of treating the Indians. The main character shows a great job in the rehearsals and his acting skills amaze Sebastian. Later that day, Sebastian with the others continue to look for suitable extras for their film and there he insisted on casting Daniel as Hatway. Unfortunately, Costa refuses to let Daniel be hired in their film since he foresees trouble in Daniel. The filming starts and they eventually let Daniel take part as Hatway in the film, alongside his daughter, Belen, also being an extra in the film as one of the Indian children. On a different day, Maria continues with her documentary about the process of their whole film making and she also films the locals there with Daniel being one of them. The group has fun talking for a while but as Maria asks what is the purpose of their digging, she discovers that the locals there are experiencing water shortage due to the government's privatization of their local waters. The water company then passes by and Daniel with two other men, run towards the vehicle and chases them away by wrecking it. After a Saturday night dinner of the film crew, a group of police locks up the locals well and such inhumane acts of the police eventually cause an outrage from the locals saying that even the rain is being deprived from them. This occurrence leads to the beginning of a soon-to-be riot between the locals and the government. Back on the set, Juan rehearses his lines in front of Sebastian and Alberto, wherein Sebastian praises his acting. Sebastian continues to give Juan an advice to pour more feelings into Juan's acting. Outside Bolivia's water district, locals there are carrying out a rally with Daniel leading them. Maria continues to film the locals in hopes of creating a documentary about them but Costa tells her to not get involved with other people's business. The next day, the crew is getting their props ready for the film, and Daniel and her daughter go to see the big ship of Columbus. There the father and daughter are amazed by it and Costa suddenly talks to Daniel and tells him to stay out of activism for at least three weeks since without him they cannot finish the film. Costa then picks up his phone to talk to someone and there he speaks English while telling the person on the phone that they can pay the extras cheaply for two dollars and they will instantly be happy. After the call, Costa then turns to Daniel again and to his surprise, Daniel can actually understand and speak English since he had worked in the States for two years in construction. The incident makes Daniel and her daughter leave the set with Costa being speechless by what happened. As the shooting continues, the scene then changes to a group of Indians arranged in a line and each is measured by the gold that they had obtained. The Indians who do not meet the status quo of gold, are to be clipped, and Belen who is the daughter of one of the Indians in the film experiences the same wherein her father's arm is cut off due to him having not enough gold. The whole crew watches this scene at a theater and everyone praises Belen's excellent acting. As she leaves with her father, Costa and Daniel meet eye to eye, but none of them exchange words with one another. At night, Costa has a lot in his mind and his conscience starts to kick in as he still remembers the previous incident with Daniel. Costa eventually could not contain his feelings and so he goes to Daniel's house to apologize. The following day, another scene commences wherein Indians are rescued by their fellow tribe men and a chase occurs. Unfortunately, an Indian woman trips in which everyone leaves her and she is then eaten by dogs. 
Later on, Sebastian directs the next scene wherein babies are to be drowned in the river but the extras refuse to partake in such scene even though their babies will be swapped with dolls. Sebastian asks for Daniel's help to persuade them but the thought of them drowning babies is a scene that they cannot do. This frustrates Sebastian but Costa can only agree to the extra's decision and move on to the next scene. Amidst the filmmaking, Daniel continues to lead their community in rising against the privatization of their water and he begins a poll within their community but the majority still chooses to fight for their rights. At the September 14th square in Cochabamba, Sebastian and Costa are baffled to see Daniel leading the revolt against the government. Despite the uproar happening outside, the film crew continues to meet with the city mayor. Sebastian and Costa tell the mayor that the people actually have a right to fight for their water and that their demands are reasonable, but the mayor can only laugh at their remarks and he tells them that they are just misinformed. After the conversation, the two of them can only look out the window and see the riot continuing. On their way back, Sebastian and Costa's moneymen tell them to leave Bolivia since their insurance does not cover their casualties during wars, but Sebastian wants to finish the film and so they go forth to Daniel's house. There, Costa bribes Daniel to refrain from attending riots since they cannot continue nor finish the film without him. In the end, Daniel agrees but refuses to take the money and so he instructs his wife to keep it for a while since they may use it. On the next day, all is set for the shooting but Daniel is nowhere to be found and does not show up on the film site. The crew has nothing else to do but waste a day of preparation. As the film crew is watching TV, they see the riot quickly escalating with rebels blocking streets as well as all of them fighting with sticks and stones against rifles and tear gases. Daniel suddenly shows up in the news and is jailed for being a part of the rebellion. With the help of his vast connections, Costa calls someone that can help them get Daniel out of jail. And so the two bribe the chief police to take Daniel out of jail, but the chief police want something in return which is to give Daniel back to them after their film. Sebastian refuses since his conscience cannot handle giving him back to jail which may lead to him being tortured or in worst cases, to be killed. On the other hand, Costa reassures him that it is going to be alright as long as they can finish the film and so Daniel is eventually taken out of prison and he thanks them for giving him another chance. With the crew all up and ready to move on to a new film location, Costa goes to Sebastian who had been sleepless all night and vomiting in his room. Sebastian cannot handle the stress that he is going through right now due to all that is currently happening around him, which leads him to lose hope. As a friend, Sebastian lifts Costa's spirit by reminiscing their old selves that eventually became who they are now. All of the crew including Daniel successfully makes a heart-wrenching scene for the film, but their celebration is cut short as the police come to look for Daniel and they arrest him without warning. Seeing this, the locals quickly go out to fight the police by flipping their vehicle and rescuing Daniel. The police are infuriated by what the locals had done and so they point guns at them, to which Costa quickly runs to calm the police and they eventually leave. At the hotel, news about the continuous war between the locals and the government is increasing in danger since a lot are heavily injured because of the riots. Alberto and Juan start to worry for their safety and so they wish to be flown back to their hometowns. Costa then tells them that they had signed a contract with them but they remain firm in their decision of going home. Sebastian jumps into the conversation and he begs them to stay and so Juan and Alberto eventually agree to finish the film with them. As crew members hurriedly boards and drive to the new location before all roads are blocked, Costa suddenly catches sight of Belen's mother, Teresa, across the street. He comes to her and asks her what is her problem, and he then listens to her saying that Belen went to the riot and her actions resulted in her being heavily injured. Teresa begs Costa to help her bring Belen to a hospital since Costa can help her cross different road blockades. Costa is in a dilemma in choosing between his film crew or helping to save Belen, but he eventually chooses the latter and he leaves Sebastian with no other choice but to go without Costa. As the two drive off, Sebastian and the crew listen to the radio, and hearing distressing updates from the riot stirs up Sebastian to worry for Costa more. Not only does the live news report from the radio worry Sebastian but the whole crew also starts to fear for their lives. On the other hand, Costa and Teresa rush to go find Belen, and along the way, they encounter problems like their car catching bullets from riot police. They finally reach a small clinic and find a heavily wounded Belen sitting on the floor. At the same time, the film crew is stopped at a police checkpoint where they see locals being physically abused by the authorities and this sight prompts Alberto to be frantic about their safety. Other crew members suddenly come to their vehicle and tell them that they are going to the airport to flee from the conflict in Cochabamba. 
All of them follow but only Sebastian refuses to go due to his great passion and pride in finishing the film. In the end, only Sebastian and Anton are left with nowhere else to go but to wait for Costa. Back at Cochabamba where riots are still causing chaos, Costa quickly brings the mother and daughter to a hospital, where the doctor commends Costa in bringing Belen on time before she loses too much blood, unfortunately, Belen is unable to walk properly anymore. Knowing that Belen is already feeling well, Costa instantly thinks of finding Daniel so that Belen can see her father. Costa drives off through the ransacked place but he cannot find Daniel, so he instead goes to one of their props rooms and all he can do is look at the script of their unfinished film. Meanwhile, Daniel shows up behind Costa and he expresses his deep gratitude towards him because Costa had saved her daughter's life. Costa shows a printed article about Daniel's activism successfully leading to multinational companies backing out from Bolivia's water. Before the two part ways, Daniel gives a gift to Costa and they give each other the last embrace. On his way home, Costa opens the gift box that Daniel gave to him and he is baffled to see that Daniel had given him a small bottle of water. Daniel's gift greatly widens Costa's perception that there are things that we take for granted but there are also others who will fight for what they should also have, like the life-sustaining water. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.